Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Teacher Louise, your mommy tutor. So today we will be discussing about calculating the molar mass or formula mass or sometimes it is also called formula weight or molecular weight of a compound. Okay, so in order to calculate the molar mass of a compound, the first thing that you need to do is you need to find the formula mass of the compound okay you have to remember and you have to remember that molar mass of a substance is equal to the formula mass okay so the formula mass and molar mass they are equal and the atomic mass unit okay so the formula mass in atomic mass unit is equal to the molar mass of a substance okay and the molar mass of a substance is the mass in gram of one mole of substance so don't forget that okay so just as I have said kanina to get the molar mass of a substance you need to know first the formula mass formula mass of a substance by multiplying the number of atoms of that element by the number of atomic mass okay so you multiply first the atomic mass of each element by the number of atoms of that element in the compound so anong ibig sabihin nun? una you need to de determine first what are the elements of the compound okay and then after mong malaman the elements of the compound you also need to identify the atoms. How many atoms are there? Okay, in each element. And then after that, you need to know the atomic mass of each element. Yon. And then after, after getting all the atomic mass of each element, you add them or get the sum to get the molecular mass or formula weight of the compound. Okay, so to better understand what I'm saying, let us do the following examples. Okay, so dito sa unang example natin, this one, this is water. Okay, so this is the formula for water. Okay, so H2O is water. Okay, so identify what are the elements. Ano yun ang mga elements ng water? So elements of water, I, H, and then oxygen. So, how many atoms of H or hydrogen are there? So, in H, how many atoms? There are two. So, hydrogen has two. And then, how many oxygen? Or It is one. Now, after identifying kung ano yung atoms o kung ilang atoms meron ng bawat isa, bawat elements, you need to multiply this into its atomic weight. So, ano ba yung atomic weight ng hydrogen? If you try to look at your periodic table, makikita mo dun kung anong atomic weight niya. And atomic weight of hydrogen is 1. So, imumultiply natin siya ng 1. And then, the atomic weight of oxygen is 16. Okay, and then after you get the product, we get... 2 times 1 is 2, and 1 times 16 is 16. Adding them, we get 18. So, etong 18 na to, this is the atomic mass unit. Okay, so, there are 18 atomic mass unit, or yung tinatawag nating AMU. And this atomic mass unit is also equal to the molar mass, which is equal to the molar mass. At ano ang molar mass natin? Molar mass is always equal to the unit gram per mole. Okay? Because molar mass is the mass in gram of 1 mole of oxygen. So, ang molar mass ng H2O, ang mm niya o yung molar mass niya is equal to 18 gram per mole. Okay? So, this is the molar mass. Next, what about the molar mass of this? 
<coughs> compound. So, this is magnesium nitrate. So, again, anong sabi ko? First, you need to identify kung ano-ano yung mga elements. So, ano, what are the elements here? We have the Mg or the magnesium. Okay? And then, what else? We have the N or the nitrogen and then the oxygen. So, after identifying the element, the next thing is identify how many atoms each. So, magnesium here has only one. So, one siya. Nitrogen here has one. But then, take note, nasa parenthesis siya. So, since my parenthesis, ibig sabihin, this closing open parenthesis with the two subscript here, means that this two is also for nitrogen. It's not only for oxygen. And the nitrogen here has no subscript. But that subscript, since wala naman, understood to be one. So, what are we going to do with this subscript and the nitrogen there? We need to multiply. So, since walang nakasulat, it's understood to be 1. So, 1 times 2 is 2. So, nitrogen here has 2 atoms. And the oxygen here has 6. Okay? Why 6? Because we have 3 oxygen at first. And then, we also need, or we have a subscript outside pa. So, what you do, you multiply 2 times 3. That's why we get 6. Okay? And then after that, after we, no we know the number of atoms, we are now ready to multiply it to the atomic weight. So, atomic weight of magnesium is 24. Okay? And then, nitrogen is 14. And oxygen is... 16 okay and then after multiply so 1 times 24 is 24 2 times 14 is 28 and 6 times 16 is 96 so after getting all the formula mass of each element we are now ready to get the formula weight or the molar mass of the compound so, how are we going to do that? We are going to add. So, adding this, we'll get 148 AMU or gram per mole. Okay? So, the molar mass or the formula weight of the compound magnesium nitrate is 148 grams per mole. Okay, so that's how you do it. Next, what about this compound? So what is this compound? This compound is calcium hydroxide. Okay, so again, ang unang-una natin gagawin to get the molar mass or the molecular weight or formula weight is identifying all the elements. So ang elements dito ay the Ca or calcium and then oxygen and hydrogen. So, how many atoms each? Calcium here has 1. Oxygen here has what? So, as you can see, kapag OH lang siya, 1 atom, 1 atom each. But then, since merong subscript, and this is in a close and open parenthesis, meaning you need to multiply these two to both oxygen and hydrogen. So, 2 times 1 will be 2. And then, hydrogen, which is 1 times 2 again is 2. Then, after that, multiply na naman natin siya sa atomic weight ng bawat isa. So, ang calcium, the atomic weight is 40. And then, ang oxygen is 16. At ang hydrogen is 1. And then, after, get the product. 1 times 40 is 40. 2 times 16 is 32. And 2 times 1 is 2. And then after, add them. So, we get 74. So, 74 is the molar mass of calcium hydroxide. So, 74 atomic mass unit or it can also be gram per mole. So, kapag gram per mole, that is the formula mass. Okay? So, this is 74 
gram per mole for the molar mass. Okay? Lastly, so this is the last one, the C6H12O6. So, ang C6H12O6 is glucose. Okay, so again, to get the molar mass of this is we need to identify all the elements. So, the elements are carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. So, as you can see here, yung mga subscript niya, yan yun. So, six, there are 6 atoms of carbon, there are 12 atoms of hydrogen, and 6 atoms of oxygen. And... Multiply this by the atomic mass. So, ano ang atomic mass ng carbon? It's 12. Atomic weight. Pala. Okay? And hydrogen is 1. And oxygen, the atomic mass unit is 16. Okay? Multiplying this, so 6 times 12, so that will be 72. 1 times 12, that will be 12. And 6 times 16 is 96. Adding this, we'll get 180 grams per mole. Okay? Or atomic mass unit. So, this is the formula mass of, or the molar mass of glucose. Okay, so that's how we get the molar mass or the formula mass or formula weight of each compound. So don't forget to get the molar mass or formula weight of each compound. First, identify the elements and then after, kailangan mong identify kung ilan atoms ang bawat element. And then after that, i-multiply mo yung atomic weight ng bawat element doon sa atoms nung mga element na yon okay and then after you are going to add okay so you are going to add all the elements to get the molar mass of each compound okay so that's it for today i hope you learned something t again today and again, this is Teacher Luis, your mommy tutor. Bye.